Hey YouTube, this is Everything you Pan here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn to build a 4008 in VirtualBox. So, um, this was part of the Milestone 4 uh, builds of Windows Longhorn, and of course you guys know that the Longhorn project was scrapped and eventually replaced by codename Vista. Um, but, here in this tutorial we are going to use the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO in order to change the bio state um, to the specified one. Uh, it's going to be listed in the description. Uh, MS-DOS will be in the description as well and then there will be a link to the uh, Longhorn 4008 ISO in the description as well on the Winworld PC. So um, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. This is one I was testing out with earlier. Go ahead and click New, and we're going to type in Windows Longhorn Build 4008. Make sure your version here is selected as Windows XP 32-bit. Click Next. Go ahead and leave this at 192 megabytes, and click Next. And then go ahead and create the virtual hard disk by clicking Create, and then do VDI, click Next. Dynamically allocated, click Next. And then uh, go ahead and just leave this at 10 gigabytes, and click create and then we go to settings up in the top here go to storage and then we're gonna go ahead and click empty and then find the MS-DOS ISO click OK and then go ahead and start your machine and then uh, once MS-DOS loads up here we're going to change the bio state in order for this to work because if you do not this will not work so once MS-DOS loads up here go ahead and type in the command date and then we're going to go ahead and type in the date, 02-20-2003. Go ahead and click enter, and then if you type in that same date command, it will now show up as Thursday, February 20th, 2003. That is exactly what we want. So now we can go ahead and insert the Longhorn ISO, um, Longhorn 4008, and reset the virtual machine, and it's going to load up into the Windows setup. And of course, it's going to have the XP a boot screen here but when we get into the setup here um, it has this blue theme of course the milestone 4 builds and uh, it says welcome to Longhorn setup go ahead and click continue and then it's going to ask you to type in the product key so that will be um, I haven't really looked on the Word World PC website so I'm actually just gonna Go ahead and type it in right now. And um, if it's on the Word PC website and you can't view it on my video, um, it should be on there. But hopefully, it should be on there. Plus, there should be a serial text in with the ISO as well. So uh, go ahead and click OK after entering in the product key. Go ahead and click Yes to agree to the license terms. Go ahead and click Continue. And then um, if you leave this on partition zero, don't do that. Just click disk zero, then do I want to format using NTFS, click continue, and it will now copy files over. That was a error that I had um, come up. If you just if you leave it selected on partition, it will come up with an error. So make sure to collect select disk zero. So now it's going to copy files and install um, Longhorn. So this process will take some time. Um, just leave it running for a little bit and I'll be right back with you guys once we restart. So now it says phase one of setup is completed. Your computer will restart in a moment to begin phase two and um, it says you can walk away now and come back in about 10 minutes but I think it should take a little bit quicker than that because it's installing a newer hardware more than likely but um, don't press any key to boot from the CD but just leave the CD in just in case it needs to still copy some files over and of course it's going to do the uh, Windows XP professional um, boot screen coming on this and now it's going to go through the um, second part of the setup there you saw in the uh, quick flash in the bottom right it said Longhorn XP professional and it did have the build number there so um, now it's going to um, do some more things in the background so I'll be back once we restart again so after a while it'll come up with a screen that says welcome to Windows setup it says we'll ask you a few questions before getting started. So go ahead and click next on this. Whoops. Um, click next, and then I guess there was a screen that came up. I'm not sure what that said. I accidentally clicked it. 
Um, but I guess if you click next anyway, it will go. It says, thank you for answering the questions. Click finish. It's going to boot up. And log in. And there you go. So we now have Windows Longhorn Build 4008 installed successfully. So that is the tutorial, guys. Hope that was... Um, wasn't too bad for you guys. It should have been too hard. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Comment your f ideas for future tutorials down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.